Hey guys, what's up? Uh, big day today. First ride on the new 450 SXF ADM 2020. Um, yeah, so I'm just uh, warming up here on the uh, on the development jump section. Um, it's quite good. You've got a variety of jumps. Um, so yeah, just getting the feel for the new bike. Um, yeah, really just trying to manage the um, gear and throttle. Uh, surprisingly, you can you can ride these jumps in fourth gear, and um, it doesn't seem to mind that. Eh? Which that's crazy. The, the 250 was in you know, a second, third gear. Um, yeah, so it's a different bike. Obviously, it's it's a different animal. It's got a lot more power. Um, I think the dimensions are pretty similar. Weight-wise, it's, it's pretty similar. Um, they say it it feels heavier to ride than the 250 and the 350 because of the uh, inertia created by the the bigger engine piston crank uh, setup but um i didn't i didn't notice it i thought it would feel um you know radically more heavy because it's um you know 250 compared to 450 you think wow the percentage is there but no it's just got heaps more torque power uh in the low mids um yeah it's quite it's quite manageable um you know um it's got insane potential to go really quick and i'm really looking forward to uh to um, unleashing it and getting a few more hours up on it. But yeah, if today was a test ride, first ride. Um, and yeah, really, really happy with it. Really, really stoked on um, you know, how smooth it is and um, you know, just the quality of the bike. The KDMs, jeez, like their, their standards are excellent. Um, yeah, so uh, here at the island, uh, which is up north, an hour north of Newcastle, um, it's a pretty good day for it. Um, you know, no clouds in the sky, no rain or anything. The track's a little dry, um, but actually, I think I prefer it. Um, not just because it's easy to clean the bike afterwards. I mean, I love cleaning my bike anyway, but um, yeah, it's a quicker clean. It's a 10 second clean instead of a, uh, you know, sometimes when <laughs> your bike's like covered in mud, like completely starched, it's, uh, you know, it can take an hour just to. Um, hose all the mud off, um, whereas you know it's mostly just a little bit of dust on the bike after the ride today, so yeah. But um, what I did notice, uh, I did a bit of research um, before today just to, you know, so I knew what I was getting myself in for, and um, I watched a few videos saying, oh, look, the things to watch out for is you know, riding it when you're fatigued, um, you know, they can be a bit of a handful then, you know, when your technique gets a little sloppy because you're tired. Um, so yeah, I did have, uh, towards the end of the day, so I, I, I was supposed to do an hour, uh, 1.3 hours today, what's it, 80 minutes, but um, oh, I, just, I got there a bit late, I had to do a few things this morning, and um, yeah, I didn't quite get that 1.3, but it doesn't really matter, I mean, they say the ideal braking ride is about 1.3, but I did an hour anyway, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I've got to do an oil change tonight. The oil and filter. Um, yeah, so it was a good day at the island. I think I had pretty good numbers. Although I got there a little bit later, so I'm a better rider since you ride in the morning. I'm more experienced guys, and um, you know, tend to be beginners in the in the evening or the afternoon. So um, yeah, I had a had a good ride on the development track. Um, gave it a good little break in crack um, and yeah after this and this is the last lap of the well let me try can I hit this one bowls is it clearing some of these not that last one that last one's a it's the biggest one it's a bit of a chode and I think because you sort of you know that when you land you're coming into an area where there might be um, you know right as that's where the gate is so you know you can go on that on one over clear it, land flats, and then you know land with a whiskey throttle and you know, run a kid over or something that'd be horrendous. Um, so yeah, you kind of want to hit that last jump, but just sort of take it easy on it. Um, thinking about um, just safety of other people, I guess. But uh, yeah, there's one here where I um I do get a little bit disconnected. I'm not 
got a tip this morning from uh, Mick at Chris Watson Islington. He was saying, um, you know, stay connected to the 450 and it'll it'll be a much smoother experience. Um, you know, getting disconnected with the legs, not not um, you know, not hanging on. You know, they say you're supposed to ride the bike with your legs and not with your arms. Uh, that's I think they say the reason why the beginners get arm pump and have to have a rest is because they're riding the bike they're squeezing their grips too hard and they're riding the bike with their arms so the correct technique correct me if I'm wrong is to you know not squeeze too hard with your hands and arms try and have relaxed relaxed upper body grip it you know enough to hang on to it but um yeah really focus on putting your toes in and uh gripping the bike with your knees um makes it a hell of a lot smoother when you yeah when you're connected um to the bike properly but uh yeah it's a couple of times where uh, i got disconnected and um you know it's still fairly manageable um i mean i i don't like to freak out and um throw the bike or something like i think some people are just oh i don't want to crash or whatever and they they bail i mean there's no bailing you gotta hang on marcus style you know, that's, that's my philosophy. I think I said that in a previous video. But um, yeah, the next bit after this development, crap, I mean, booze, that's, that's flats right there. Like, that's a, that last one, not the one that I kind of backed off completely, but the one after I, the, the flats landing um, was the one I got disconnected on. So this is pretty cool. Uh, this is end of the day at three. 45, so the uh, park closes at the island, ASC closes at 4. Um, everyone's pretty much out of here at this point, and I've got the roller coaster track to myself, uh, which is pretty sick. Uh, so I filmed here uh, with the GoPro 9 last week and using the chest mount, uh, which it's good, you can see more of the sort of handlebars of the bike, but sometimes you hit a jump and you know, handlebars come up and you in the chest and they kind of point the camera down and it just ends up being bad footage. So I've gone back to um, the helmet helmet cam in this just because, you know, nothing's bumping the helmet cam unless, you know, another rider jumps over and hits it with a wheel or something. But, um, yeah, it's not really going to happen on this track. This track's more of a kind of flow track, I guess you'd call it. Um, it's got two whoops sections that are fairly mellow. Um, and it's got a really good sort of variety of corners. Um, you know, so it's got big sweepers like this one. Look at me avoiding the ruts. <laughs> um, this bit's cool, like it's kind of, it's not your typical motocross track. Although there's some cool, I've been watching the um, MXGP, the uh, European stuff. And man, they got some crazy cool features on their tracks, like just kind of, huge almost like wall ride style things that are kind of similar to this track but yeah this track's really fun it's it's fairly forgiving um you know it's i'm going out on the limb but i think it's it's good for um everyone anyone can ride this from little kids to um complete beginners to you know pro racers probably still have fun uh, having a crap on this track it's you know, super flowy uh it's got a few nice jumps it's got a, like the, the back straight is awesome it's dead straight it's got like Two or three big mellow tabletops, you know, they're the ultimate kind of skill builder jumps because you can hit them, you know, fairly fast. You're not coming out of the corner, uh, you're just on a straight. I think it's two jumps. Uh, this this back bit's pretty cool. So these things up here, I don't jump either. I don't, I don't actually think they're jumps. They're kind of just like roller coaster style humps, I guess you'd call them. But they're uh, they're super fun. Um, you get this kind of roller coaster feeling um, when you ride through there. It's you know that sort of as a roller coaster drops down the big hill. Um, like if you feel a weight shift or whatever. Um, yeah, so pretty good day today. Uh, had a couple of close calls. So yeah, this is a straight. So you just pin it. Here. You just, um, one, two. Yeah, this three jumps. So this yeah, last one's pretty sick. I'm getting pretty close to clearing there, but obviously what. Like, probably hit them even quicker and um, you know, get, get further down the down ramp but uh, these two jumps are insane. Um, so it's starting to jump a little bit further on that one, it's pretty intimidating. 
and so is that one. Um, they're fairly mellow landings, but there's just something about that. You do get that roller coaster feeling because it's kind of down a hill into a jump, um, as opposed to sort of riding on the flats, building your line, building your speed, and um, you know, they've got us. So I don't know if they're technical, I guess the, the, the better riders, the elite riders would probably not call that technical and probably do that with their eyes closed, but um, yeah, for someone that's you know, still fairly new, um, yeah, they give, they give me a good rush. Look, as I'm looking forward to clearing those uh, two with the, uh, in the, after the straight, after that left hand corner. So, uh, it's interesting what the camera does here, like you notice, it's doing some, uh, it's got stabilisation and crop, and sometimes like here, it looks like I've gone over the edge, which I haven't. Like I'm fairly, through that section, I'm pretty much in that lighter grey line. Um, yeah, so just real, real kind of flowy. It reminds me of like, a, you know, mountain bike flow trails. Um, yeah, tracking myself is uh, it's really cool. It was rough. GT avoids that rut, that is a gnarly rut. Uh, I had a ride a, a bit earlier in the day and the uh, camera angle wasn't great, so I'm not going to use that footage, but uh, there's a couple of kids racing, like they were kind of kids, uh, like sort of mid, mid teenage, what, 15, 16 or whatever, and um, yeah, it's a shame that that footage isn't that good because they were kind of mucking around and um, you know, drifting out of corners and racing each other and I was just trying to keep up with them but I couldn't. Um, they were um, you know, pretty quick but yeah it was this kind of sick footage. But uh, yeah really stoked how this footage turned out. Um, it's, you can just see like the stabilisation in it. See, it, it almost looks around the corners. It's, I don't know how they're doing that. I know it's, it's a crop. Does the camera have like some sort of AI where it can you know, tell what the corner is and it knows, you know, to crop left, to crop right, 